This is truly unacceptable. The fact that people think that they have the right to go on their social media accounts and post death threats to Laura Bailey and even to her kids is truly low. It shows how people truly are suffering from mental health issues and we're not doing enough to get these people help or make them understand that this is wrong. Just look at the things they're saying to Laura Bailey. I'm going to kill you because blank of The Last of Us Part 2. I'm going to find where you live and slaughter you and for what you did. Blank. Mark my effing words. I will stab you. Just want to say that you should die. B word. F you. And all these things. You guys are seeing it on the screen. Like, this is truly disgusting. Like, are you kidding me? I am very happy that at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that are supporting Laura Bailey on Twitter. Neil Druckmann, for example, he said, as the people that propagate this kind of hate would say, how stunning and brave. I hope these gamers get the mental help they clearly need. Unfortunately, this is now the cost of making popular entertainment that challenges conventions. Laura doesn't deserve any of this. And then we have Ashley Johnson saying something very true about this situation. If you don't like something, it's okay just not to like it. It's okay to disagree. This? This is unacceptable. You do not threaten someone's life, their child's life, or their family's life. Period. And many other people are tweeting on support to Laura Bailey, which is great to see. Now, there's something I have to talk about in this situation. There are three things that I have to say. First, if you see anyone doing this, if you know anyone who does this, and if you who are watching this video do these things, please help others get help and help yourself to get help if you do these things. Get yourself, please, and get others professional help. This is not right. We as a society are responsible for letting these things keep happening because we talk about it one day, but then it keeps happening because we don't talk about this situation enough or promote this enough to change. We don't voice this like it's a big problem when it is. Supporting those who are attacked is right, but not enough. There has to be real consequences for doing these things, and we as a society are responsible if we don't do what is necessary to prevent these things. Two, social media. That includes YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Their platforms are so bad with dealing with these types of people, these things just keep happening. People on social media know that they can say whatever they want to say with no consequences, being anonymous. They can be racist, bigots, spreading hate, threatening others to kill them, and all these disgusting things. And whoever runs these platforms are so slow in dealing with these situations. There's no major consequences for these accounts for doing these things. The most that can happen to them is that they get banned if they repeatedly do these things. Instead of permanently banning them the moment they do these things and finding ways to block certain tweets that contain hateful speech. If none of these administrators on social media do their part to eliminate these things, people will feel the freedom to just be disgusting and keep doing these things that is not correct. This has to change. And third and final. We have to go to the lowest of the lowest, and I'm very sorry I do not like calling people out, but we have to, because these are the people that create the environment for these disgusting people to do what they want to do. And we have to go to the roots, and one of the roots are the hateful content creators here on YouTube. We can't let the actions of these hateful content creators for spreading this amount of hate be thrown under the rug. I'm not saying that they told their audiences to do these things. But like it or not, they created an environment for this type of hate. Their channels thrive on the drama. Drama converts into hate, and the hate converts into disgusting things that these people do. And after that, these content creators assume absolutely no responsibility for the environment that they created. When they continuously hate and hate for their own financial gain. The Quartering, Geeks and Gamers, both huge platforms, yet only spread twisted things about the things that they hate the most and won't in their mother talk about real issues in the gaming community, like for example, Laura Bailey's situation on getting death threats. Then we have Ryan Kinnell from RK Outpost. Now I'm calling this man out, not because, not just because this guy literally makes 25, 30 videos a week talking about The Last of Us Part 2 and Naughty Dog and literally just trashing them all the time. I'm calling this guy out because of his latest video talking about Laura's situation. I thought, watching that video, that he was going to finally be positive in that video, trying to support Laura Bailey and her situation and use his platform to promote awareness that this situation is just wrong. Well, 
I was wrong. This man minimized her situation, minimized her getting death threats and her kids getting death threats. Because in his words, what Laura wanted was attention. And that is just like supposedly the Last Jedi situation all over again. What the actual fuck, man? I'm sorry, but I know you said that what these people are doing is wrong, but you minimized the situation by saying these things. This is totally unacceptable. And this is one of the reasons why things like this are keep happening. This honestly needs to stop. How can you let your pitiful agenda against a company make you so senseless and still attack them when this is occurring? Guys, this is all to everyone that's watching this video. Please spread awareness on this situation. We have to stop this childish, utterly disgusting behavior. We in this community, in this channel specifically, we have over 1,700 plus subscribers. Please, I want every single one of you 1,700 plus subscribers to like and share this video to spread awareness of the situation. Please spread it everywhere. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even here on YouTube. Use this video to start a conversation, to stop this harassment once and for all. I don't think that I'm asking for something that is way too much. I'm asking for people to respect each other and this has to stop. Remember, if we don't do anything to stop this disgusting behaviors, then you and I are the problem because we choose to do nothing and let these hateful content creators and hateful people online minimize this situation like it's not a big deal and trying to take attention away from the real problems of this situation. Please do what is right and let's stop this once and for all. I love you guys and I know you guys will do this, okay? Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.